Hi guys, today I have a huge video for you. I've got home bargains, B&M, some stuff from Ikea, and I think I've got a couple of things, not very much from the range, and I think that's about it, but I've got a lot, so I'm not gonna waffle on. But before I start, I'm gonna quickly say, you'll probably notice I changed the name to my channel, just made more sense, Diane's Weird World. I also started an Instagram with the same name, so that if you want to come and chat with me over there, see my pictures, we can like, you know, interact whatever over there on Instagram I'll leave the link in my description and I'll maybe see you over there I'll probably post on there more than I post I mean I only just recently started it but I will I do intend on posting on there you know like in between posting videos so if you fancy following me over there you can do that I'll leave the link in the description right I'm going to get started and I'm going to try not to waffle on each thing because there is far too many things to be waffling on let me start with this because it's huge and I'm going to get it out of the way it does have I don't know if you're going to be able to see it but somewhere on here is muddy paw prints because I've had this for about I don't know if it's about a week or something and nothing survives that long so it'll be covered in dog hair and also it's got muddy paw prints on it this is actually a so I'm just a quick waffle first I'm redecorating my house I'm doing my living in my hall I'm doing my bathroom's white it's got like T white big tile things in it so it's plain white and so there's some things in here to like add a bit of colour and a bit of stuff into my bathroom and I'm also doing my living room which I'm doing white and I'm adding some touches and I wanted some black and white and I like this kind of design this is an outdoor cushion and this was this is from B&M and this was £15 it also comes with a handy dandy uh, handle you could use this as like a foot so you know like a floor cushion type thing if you wanted to like if you had a load of people around and you wanted just a little bit of um you know somebody could sit on the floor you could use it for that but i'm going to put it on my couch and it will probably get used on the floor but this is 15 pounds and for i thought 15 pound for a cushion like really not that that's that dear for a cushion but i'm uh, kind of cheap and i'm like 15 pound for a cushion but if you think like an ordinary cushion is about 10 pound and this one is absolutely huge and so, and it's got these pom-poms all the way around the edge. Don't know how long they'll last. But given that it's outdoors, it's going to be kind of ruggedy. The only thing is, is it doesn't come, so it's like black on the back. And it doesn't come with a zip, so it doesn't zip off. So you would have to put the whole thing in the wash. And I do have, it does like squish down. It's so comfy, like really, really, really comfy. It would fit in my washing machine because I've got a big drum. And with it being like, if you can hear that, it's like rough not rough as in like but you know it's like a hardy texture so you could scrub it so i think that's what i'll be doing the majority of the time rather than like putting it in the wash okay that was a big oh there we go that was a big waffle not going to waffle so much i'm going to get the big things out of the way so that i can you know just like clear some space this is a new shower this was from home bargains i'm trying to be careful with this because there's a crack in it and it's like super sharp plastic this is from Home Bargains. I think this is twelve ninety nine. My shower thing broke. My whole shower didn't break, but one of the little I don't even know what it is, but like the little bit that stops it falling and hitting you in the head when you shower, that broke and it was a pain in the neck and you had to try and balance it and it was just it was oh dear. It was awful. Um so that is twelve nineteen, home bargains, new shower, because I was fed up with it falling on my head. So the colour I'm going to add into my bathroom is yellow. So I've got some yellow kind of accessories. That's a good thing about having a plain white bathroom is that you can just, you know, with accessories, add in any colour you like. So I'm going for this kind of different tones of this kind of yellow colour. This is from Home Bargains and this was £3.50. And it's just a little pear drop type style. And it's like ceramic, but it's not heavy. It's like kind of light. Not much to say about it. Three fifty, not Home Bargains, B&M. £3.50 B&M. Another yellow thing for my bathroom. I thought this was so cute. How cute is this little guy? This was £8 and this is quite heavy so it's not going to like get knocked down or anything. It's like sturdy. And it's these fake little plants inside this giraffe and there's little stones. And it's just cute. Look at those little guys. So cute. And £8 I thought was not too bad given that you've got the artificial plants and the hefty giraffe. So there's that. I've actually got a box. Hold on just means I'm going to have to like reach over but I've got a box there set up another thing for the bathroom and the yellow kind of colour I like this kind of I don't know pattern type thing I like these like I love storage baskets I've kind of addicted to storage baskets and 
I just thought this was nice, a bit of yellow. I think I'm just going to store some spare toilet rolls in it just to sit in the bathroom. May or I could maybe use it for like face cloths or whatever. So I got that and this was £4 from B&M. So you can see the kind of theme I'm going for in my bathroom. So this bag here is stuff from Ikea. So this is nothing fancy. It's got the suckers on it, attaches to the wall. And it's basically like a floaty shelf type thing and it's got the drainage bit in the bottom. I think this was £5, like I said, from Ikea. And I got this to go in my kitchen above my sink to have like my hand soap and my washing up liquid and dish brushes and whatnot in it. Right now they're on like a little tray on my drain sink, like draining board, you know, like the bit at the side, the little tray thing. But I have a ceramic sink and I'm always worried, like I've got glass hand things and I'm always worried that they fall down and smash my like porcelain sink. So I got this. I'm hoping the suckers are really good, but I also got something else to go with this so that if it were to fall down, no glass hand thing is going to smash my sink. So I got that and that was £5. So there's that. Another, this is kind of boring, but another thing for my bathroom. Got a metal thing in my shower, three-tiered thing. I don't know why they make metal stuff for bathrooms because it just rusts. It's just, it's just rubbish. It just rusts. It leaves little rust circles at the bottom of my shower. And it's just a pain in the neck and I've not even had it that long. So I got this and this is a three-tiered, you can't really see it like that. Where's the picture? I think this is £7 and it's a three-tiered one. It's completely plastic. Like there's not even a screw, there's nothing. It's just completely plastic. And it's like this shape so it'll fit quite a lot of bottles and stuff in it. So I got that to, so that I don't have any nasty marks in the bottom of my shower. This, not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. I think this was 2 99 from Ikea. And did I say that one was from Ikea? The shelf thing, bathroom shelf thing was from Ikea as well. You could use that in a pantry or anything though. I mean, you could really use that anywhere or in, you could have a wee beauty stand thing in your bedroom or whatever. Anyway, this, 2 you know, like a little container thing. Kind of small for cereal or anything like that. I just thought it was so cute. Like I said, I love storage things. And I just thought this was really, really cute. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that, so we'll see. Not made up my mind, but I'm going to use it for something. I don't know. Oh, here, this is, these were from Home Bar Bargains. I think they were 2 99 and they're, these are the razors that I usually use. Quattro for women. Sometimes I use men's razors, but these are Quattro for women sensitive, and these are pretty good. They're okay. Reasonable price. So I've got those. These two are from... There's literally... Oh, fluff and dog hair and everything. These I got for my little, you can't see it but it's over there, my little beauty cabinet because these are quite deep and they go down and when I open the door to the thing they're in, the stuff like my bottles of stuff in are, is quite low down and so sometimes the bottles fall so I thought this would be a good way of keeping them stood up and these were £2 each and I got them for my little beauty cabinet so there's that. Can you tell I love storage stuff? Is it? Yeah look I started off like fine and then you can see that rash just like is it yeah you can see the rash coming up my neck as soon as I turn the camera on like that I, I don't know why because it's a social anxiety so I don't understand I'm sitting in my bedroom by myself so I don't oh, but because I'm talking to you I don't know it's ridiculous but that looks really bad I look like I've got sunburn anyway so these things are from are these from these are from um where are these from? b &M. These ones are from b &M, right? Yes, b &M bag. Th these are from b &M. Although everything's kind of muddled up a bit, but these are from b &M. This is the Dove Nourishing Secrets and it's just deodorant. It's in the scent coconut. It's so good. Like, it's so good. It smells like, like a body spray. It smells like really nice. This is the perfect summer deodorant because it smells coconutty and just so lovely. It's really, really nice. I got one for me and one for Davina because if I get one for me and she'll come in and steal mine because she likes that one. So I got that. Didn't get Hannah one because she's very strange and she doesn't like coconut. I don't know who doesn't like coconut, but she doesn't like coconut. Again, coconut. This is the Right Guard Woman Shower Gel, and it's I don't I can't remember how much these were, like maybe like one forty nine or something, but you know, like r roughly the same prices. Do it wasn't like any dearer than any of the other deodorants, I don't think, but it's worth it. It's coconutty and it's lovely. Um, where am what am I saying? Cream and oil shower gel. It says with cocoa oil and cocoa butter scent. I love everything coconut, especially in the summer. 
smells really good, like really rich and creamy and really nice. Coconut tea. This I got, I don't actually think I've got any tan on right now, but this I got just for a little summer glow type thing. Naturally, I'm super pale, like super, super, super pale, so I do like to use fake tans. This is one of those like gradual tanner things, I think. Deep sun kissed glow. Oh, maybe it's not like a build up thing, is it? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's suitable for face and body. And this is a Garnier Body Apricot Oil. I think this one smells quite nice, if I remember. It seems to smell nice. I don't know if after you use it, it'll have that tan, tannin kind of thing, but it's got that kind of peachy smell to it. Well, apricot, not, not peachy, apricot. But this is really nice. I think I've used this before years ago, but I'll see how I got on with that. I really want to start doing favourites videos so that if I'm like liking the stuff that I've showed you, you know if I like it, rather than me just showing you and saying this is what I got. Like you get a chance to see, well, was it any good? Or did you like it? Or would you buy it again? Or whatever. So... I think I'm going to start doing that, like favourites videos, things I've been enjoying. This has leaked, I hope it's not leaked over everything, but this has leaked. This is sweet apple and vanilla milk and it's the Source Sugar Gel, just picked that up. Um, this I got, this is the Mitchum's Powder Fresh. This was my, before I discovered this, this was the deodorant I used. I use roll-on deodorant but I also use spray deodorant. So the, as soon as I come out the shower I usually use roll-on deodorant. And then the next days I'm going to do, I'll use spray deodorant because I don't like to put roll-on deodorant on unless I'm like just washed, you know, like just straight out the shower. So I use both spray and roll-on. These are both sprays. This smells so good. It's called Powder Fresh, but it smells like baby powder. And if you like that baby powder smell, it's good. I burn wax, but I'm waffling again. Anyway, never mind. Baby powder smells really good. I burn the wax. If the, I, do you like how like, you can see this much of my bedroom and I point to stuff as if you can like, as if you're here and you can see, you can go, oh yeah, over there, your little wax burner. I don't know why I do that. Anyway, over there is my wax burner and I burn baby, baby powder. So I love baby powder. So this is the one I used kind of almost exclusively until I found this and I do like both. And this one you don't always see in the spray. So when I see it, I pick it up. But either of these, very good. You like baby powder, this one. Coconut, this one. Or be like me and get both. Again, coconut. We, I didn't even realise it, but I've got a coconut type theme going on. This is... Oh, do you know what's happened? There's like, that's what's all over the bag. There's like soil all over the bag. I don't know if you can see that. The inside of the bag has got soil in it. I forgot, it's not in here, but I bought a lavender plant and I planted it in a bigger thing in my garden. I'm doing that thing, pointing again, my back garden. Um, I pointed, I paid, oh. take a minute. Planted, that's the one. I planted the lavender so that's not in there. However, some of the soil's there. I'm like, why is there mud in this bag? That's why. Anyway, coconut oil and coconut butter. This is the shampoo. I'm sure this smells amazing. Yup, smells so good. Oh, that's like proper, proper like deep coconutty scent. Oh, that's good. I cannot wait for my hair to smell like this. It's going to smell so good. That, that, and that I'm going to be all coconutted out. Right, so that's that bag empty. Let me see. Do you know what I've done? I think I put the first few things in the box that I prepared and the rest of the stuff's just lying over the bed. Anyway, this is another thing I got from Ikea. Told you it was all modeled up. This is a table runner and I'll take it out so you can have a look. If we can... Oh, apparently I cannot rip this. Can I? Nope. I think this is a scissors type situation. I think I'll show you it like this and you can get the gist. It's probably going really weird because that pattern was kind of weird on camera, I think. But it's like a, I don't know what you call it, aztec -y. I don't know what you would call this pattern, but this pattern, this is for the living room to add a bit of the black and white in. I've got a really old fashioned dining table, and this is just to add a wee bit of the black and white into that. So it's going to be a kind of mix of old fashioned, modern, not modern, modern, but you know, like this is more modern. It's going to be very eclectic. I'll set, take pictures and whatever, I'll show you when it's done. This was £5 and I really like it. You could also use this. I use something very similar to this on the foot of my bed and it just gives like a kind of nice look to the foot of my bed. It also is quite good because when the animals lie on the foot of my bed, it keeps my bedding clean. But you could use this just like run out over your bed. Anyway, you, you get the gist. You can use it for other stuff than that. Oh, St Ives apricot, apricot scrub. I've got apricot this and apricot this. So I'll be coconut and apricot. Um, I'm gonna smell lovely. Deep exfoliating, deep exfoliate, 
Deeply exfoliates and removes impurities for glowing skin. And it's got that. I need a face scrub. I get really, really dry skin and I really need to like, really scrub my face. Sorry if the rustling of the plastic bags annoying. This is the Flash All Purpose Lavender. I think it's floor cleaner. Is it floor cleaner? No, just all purpose cleaner. Even the floor cleaners I use for my surfaces. Because it's just cleaner, it doesn't really make any difference. That smells really nice. I really like lavender scented things. Let me see. These are from Ikea. I think these were like 50 pence each. And these go with nothing in my house. I just really like the colour of them because they kind of were a bit Halloween-y. Orange. I don't know. They don't go with anything. But I got them. They were 50 pence each. These, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you this. I'm going to have to get all up in your face. These are little, like, kind of postcard type pictures. And I got these to go up my wall. I'm going to have one wall where it's all eclectic. Like, loads of different bits. And I think I might put some of these up there. There's, like, different pictures. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But there's... Oh, I'll move my fingers. There's all different pictures in it. And I got these to go... I might not use all of them, but I think I'll use some of them. And I got those to go up on my living room wall and I think they were £3 for those. They didn't have very much artwork in, they had hardly any artwork in actually and but luckily I found them because I was wanting some kind of small ones and they did have them but I was kind of disappointed because they had hardly anything in. Anyway this is the Eco Tools Woven Cleansing Cloth. This looks good. I'm kind of wishing, I've not used it yet, but I'm kind of, I think I'm going to love it. And I kind of wish that I'd bought another couple of them so that I've got like one, so when one's in the wash, I've got another one. It's like a, I'll take it out. It's like a little, oh, it's got a little, oh, hold on. Why are things so hard to get into? There we go. It's like, it kind of looks like a dishcloth. That's what it kind of looks like. It's got a little bit, I just saw it a second ago now that I'm talking about it, I can't find it. It's got a little bit there so that you can hang it up. It's a strange material, kind of hard to describe. It does kind of look like a dishcloth, but it's softer than a dishcloth, but it's got enough that you could, you know, like really kind of scrub and exfoliate your face without having to use a scrub or anything. It's just, it feels like it's going to be good and it's thin enough that you would be able to get into like all around the corners of your nose and I just feel like it's going to be something I'm going to really like and I think that was like 99 pence or something I'm not 100% sure bleach always buy bleach thick bleach the, I think it was like 39 pence I got that these are from Ikea these are candles one is in the scent what are you peach I think this is peach it's peach smells good I must have been having a apricotty peach and coconut type day this is apple. This smells really nice. It's like really crisp apple clean smell. That smells really good. That one was on the bed here before I started and it's literally buried under a whole load of stuff. These I got, these are two for a pound I think. And the other, I'm doing this thing Point no other. Now you know where they are, it's my little beauty cabinet thing. So in there I've got the other packet. I usually always buy the two. These are the facial cucumber wipe thing, makeup remover wipes. I got them. This I got, oh this was from, I think I got, yeah, hold on, I got a couple of things from the range, I went into the range and I didn't really see much that I wanted, so I did see a mirror that I'm considering going back and getting, I'm not sure, but I got a couple of little beauty things, there's another one in that, there's another couple of range things in the other bags, but here's some of them, and this is that Honolulu blusher, and I just thought this looked really pretty, sorry, it's in a little box like this and it comes with a little brush like this I can't remember how much this was but it wasn't very much and it's just a let's get you out there it looks like bronzer more than blush I would say it's quite dark for blush but I got that and I just thought it was cute the packaging kind of got me to be honest with you and this I got I have never tried this before this is the watermelon wave with high I'm not going to be able to say this Watermelon Wave with Hyaluronic, hy you, you get what I mean, um, Watermelon Extract and Vitamin E, Hydro Glow Moisturiser, I was like, yeah, but what are you? It's a moisturiser and apparently it smells like watermelon and I do like watermelon scented stuff. Now I'm roasting, look, oh my goodness. Anyway, I'm roasting. Um, that Watermelon Moisturiser, this I got, thought, this just seems so good to me. This is pure aloe and avocado oil. Let's add another fruit in. Why not? We're going with peaches and apricots. 
Um, it's a hair mask basically and I do like a hair mask but I just use them as a regular conditioner. I just sit them on my hair a little bit long longer. It smells so good. It smells so good. That's more of a... Like the other one's more coconut, more natural kind of smell. That smells slightly perfumey but not enough to put me off because I don't really like perfume but that smells good and I really like herbal essence and stuff. My favourite conditioner is usually Herbal Essence. I like that. Right, let's start with the... I've never tried that one though, so I can't vouch for that, but Herbal Essence is pretty good. I like their conditioners. This is for my bathroom. You can see the yellow theme thing going on. And this, again, similar kind of patterns. This was 6 99 This one was from Home Bargains. Did I say... I think this one was from... This one was from B&M or Home Bargains, I can't remember what one, but they both probably do it. They both do herbal and stuff, so they, they both might do it. What did I say? Six ninety nine bath mat, just adds that wee bit of yellow colour into my bathroom. And again, with the whole adding the colour into the bathroom thing, I got these. These were from B&M and these were £4 each, which I thought was kind of pricey for a hand tilt. But for, oh, something has leaked on this in the bag. Something's leaked. Anyway, got these, I got two of these, but I suppose they do have like little tassels and the little band around it. And again, very similar kind of pattern on the band to that. And they were four pounds, but because I'm kind of cheap, I'm like, I don't want to buy like eight of these hand towels to have in the bathroom because we, my hand, I wash my hand towel every day. So I do need backups. And I thought maybe I'll just use these kind of for display. And then, in order to like dry your hands, I need more than two towels. So what I did was, I went to Home Bargains and saw these, which again are in a yellow kind of tone. And these are face cloths, but they're like the thick luxury face cloths. They're really nice ones actually, they're really thick. These, I don't really like the thick ones for washing, like for washing my face. I don't feel like you can get really right into your face. However, I'm gonna use these as little mini hand towels. So instead of washing, you know like one or two of these every single day I just have to wash one of these so I will have they're not the exact same color but I'm not going for the exact same color it's just like different shades of the same color sorry <laughs> I'm roasting so I got those two of those and I can't remember how many of these I got six or eight or something of those to have as hand towels and then I got this this is oh this this is what's leaking I can oh my goodness I've broken it this is what's leaking. This is from this was from the range. It's so slidy. Let me just take one of these and just wipe it. This is hand wash. Oh, it's everywhere. As I'm doing that, it's like foaming up. This is fresh lavender hand wash. It smells really nice. The lid thing's broken off it, so I'm just going to very carefully put that in there and dry my hands because now I have lavender over everything. I think this is the no. This is not the last thing I got from the range. I think I got a candle as well. This is everything's covered in lavender. Oh dear. This is, let me see, Sweet Dreams with Vitamin E, Aloe Vera and, and grape, grape seed oil, let me see. This is like a sleep mask thing for your lips, so basically lip balm for your lips. It smells quite nice, it's not like overly scented, but it's a nice smell. And it's just put it on your lips at night and then hopefully wake up with really nice smooth lips in the morning. So there's that, I've not tried that before so I don't know if it is any good. This is, sorry, itchy ear. Um, sunflowers. I got these from home. I can't, oh, sorry, I can't remember how much these little things were, but they weren't very dear. It was on like a little end bit in like a little makeup y aisle thing in the range. This is sunflowers. I remember that these were $2.49. These were from Home Bargains. I just thought these were nice and I thought they would be nice to add a little pop of colour in. I suppose I could put them in the bathroom if I wanted, but I'm probably just going to stick with the giraffe. And I think I'm going to use these for my living room. And I just thought they were very pretty. And for £2.49, that's quite good for artificial flowers. These I got from Ikea. This is my solution for making sure glass didn't smash if that shelf fell down. So I don't know if these are meant to be... It didn't say what they were. I don't know if they're meant to be like sauce bottles or because they kind of look like the things you put ketchup in. But you get two of them. I think they were like £1.99 or something. And I got these one to put my... One for my washing up liquid and the other one for hand soap. So I'm going to get little labels saying what each is. That way if they fall down, they're not going to smash anything. Also, 
I hold quite a bit so that's not I don't like the little ones where you have to refill it like every second day so there's that and I also don't like things where you have to unscrew the lid every time you want to use it so this you just there's literally no lid you just squeeze it and it's there so they're going to be for my soap not soap powder then not soap powder hand soap and washing up liquid these let me see soap filled screwing pads I normally get just the plain ones but I didn't see them these were from home bargains can't remember how much like 69 pence or something and so I got those ones because I couldn't find the regular ones. Oh, this is pretty. This is for that eclectic wall in my living room. This is pretty. I like this. It's for that unusual. This was from B&M and this was six pounds. This is, oh, now you can look, I'll show you a wangle. Can you see all the mess that I've made on the bed? Yeah. This is what I have to clean up after the video. This is so hard to show you. I don't know how to show you. Basically, the bit in the middle is a mirror and it's an eye. I don't, maybe hold it against myself. Literal mess all over the bed. That's all you can see. It's an eye. It was six pounds. It'll look pretty. You'll probably see it better when it's on my actual wall. I thought the gold would look kind of nice against the wall. I'm going for a mix of gold and silver. And I thought that would look quite nice. And because I have a ridiculous slipper obsession, I got these. I can't get them back on the thing. I'm just going to show you. They're stripy slippers. They feel like they would be quite comfy. They feel like memory foam. Yep, are they memory foam? Yep, memory foam open toe mule is what they're calling them. And these were £4 and they're just stripy and they've got a little bow and they look comfy. So I got those because I can't help myself. Oh, these have burst open. I'll show you the box, all the stuff has came out. I bought hair dye because I have got, I haven't brushed my hair in maybe two days. And, but oh, I've got roots. Oh my goodness, I've got roots. Hair dye, I think I got it in the color black, so nothing really fancy. It's Garnier Nutrice. I'm not like particularly dedicated to one brand or anything. Like I don't, I just pick up whatever one I see. Everything's part of this one as well. It's all lined up at the bag. So I got two of those because of the length of my hair, I have to use two, two boxes of hair dye. And even then, sometimes I'm like, oh, I feel like I could use another like half a bottle, but I just make do with the two. And I think that was like five pound or something like that. Um, this was three pound and this is a pet ice towel. I kind of thought you put this in the fridge or freezer, but apparently you don't. You just, it comes in a cylinder. It does, the weird thing is, is that even in the packet, it feels kind of cold. It says that it gets, it feels colder than a regular towel. This was three pound and this will be well worth it because Nona, the big girl mastiff, she is, she suffers really, really badly in the heat. She just can't take it. Like Dora, she's fine, but Nona just cannot take the heat. So we really have to be careful. And last year she suffered from a little bit of heat stroke. We had kicked it in, we don't walk her when it's like super hot, we don't do it. And if we are going to take her for a walk, we'll always make sure we're going somewhere where there's a stream or a burn and she can like go and paddle in it and cool down. And it's Scotland, so it's not like it's super, super hot, but it is however too hot for her. She just doesn't, she just doesn't like it. So we got that to cool her down and we're going to get her one of those sort of cooling mat things that she can lie on as well. So anything that helps and we put ice in our water and do all that sort of stuff, but just an extra wee thing to help. This I just could not resist. It's like crochet thing. It's oh, it's so cute. Things like that. Little rainbow. This might go on my eclectic wall. You can see it's gonna be like eyes and rainbows and and all sorts of different things. I just thought this was so pretty and it's just so bright and I liked it. Did I say how much that was? Three pounds and that was from B and M. I'm trying to decipher. Oh, it's a packet of sunflower seeds. So as well as getting fake sunflowers, I also got seeds in order to. I can about also got seeds to plant a sunflower sunflowers I don't know I think they're pretty cool I love the fact they get massive so I got those let me see this is from the range oh my goodness I didn't I was not trying to buy everything coconut scented but apparently I have done that pina colada so pineapple and coconut this smells really good it's actually more pineapple I would say than coconut it's really nice it's a very fresh summery smell I like that. I like that very much. And I think that was $2.99 or $2.49 or something like that. That one was from the range. And these are, oh, hold on. I'll show you this one first. This I couldn't resist. I just thought it was cute. Not entirely sure what I'm going to use it for yet. Maybe a little jewellery or something. What does it say on it? Lovely things. And it's got the little hand and the eye. I just thought that was very cute. And it was £1.50 from B&M. 
and I do wear and I have been wearing, is that all? I think this might be the last thing. I felt like I had more stuff. I'm sure I did have more stuff. Oh, hold on a second. Just noticed one of the things stuff. These are from Home Bargains. They were 99 pence. So they're the big fat rollers, like for your hair. I've tried these in the not so, like the skinnier version of these. And they're really good. They're really, really good. And you because you're not using heat, they're not as damaging for your hair. Well, they're not damaging for your hair because it's the heat that kind of damages your hair. So I've got those ones to try because they'll give a bigger curl kind of thing. These are my favourite nails. And these are, this style is my favourite nail. And they come in a couple of different designs. These are from B&M. And they are, well, in fact, I've got the... I've had these on for a wee while so they're looking kind of scruffy but this is the shape of them these are in the nudie color and the this is in the nude color and these ones are in the pink color they're like a baby pink you can see here on the front they've got ones that have got little petals on them i don't like that it, they get on my nerves so i just pick out the plain ones and just use them so i just don't use the little ones with the petals they're only one pound 49 and i find that i really like the length of these and i really like the shape of them so these are my absolute favourites love these so I think oh my goodness this has got to be long um yes I think that's it and I will see you guys in my next video or if not I will see you over on Instagram if you want to come over there I will leave the description and the nope the link in the description and I'll maybe see you over there and I will see you guys very soon thank you so much for watching thank you for spending time with me I really appreciate it I'll see you guys soon bye